Okay, uh, my student today, we are continue. We are going to continue what we have started before, the uh, uh, multipliers. Multipliers is part of the predeterminant. Determiners. If you remember, we talk, we talked about determiners. We said it consists of three categories. The first category of predeterminant, we have the items all, both, and what, and half. We talked about this, and today we have the second type we call multipliers. What is multi? Of course, multipliers uh, derived derived from the verb multiply. Then multiplier as a noun and the plural as multipliers. So derived from this verb. What is meant by multipliers? Multipliers means many times of. Many times. This can be followed multipliers. Or before what fo follows, we have two types of multipliers. The first one, like expressions like double or twice, for example. And before we have a thrice as a three. So double means two times. Uh, double again two uh, times twice again the same meaning about and then we have times times means we have number plus time or times because we have number here times plus the noun we are talking about so what do we have about after this we have after this could be singular I mean could be followed by singular or plural or what, or non-count noun. So we can say double, for example, double his age. Say double his age. Age is what is singular. Or we can say twice their ages. Or we can say twice their ages. So age is singular, ages is plural, and can be non-count. So for example, double, we can say double, the quantity double the quantity see double the quantity then these multipliers the first group of multipliers which consists of double or twice can be followed by singular noun plural noun or an encount nouns as this example the second group of multipliers is number plus times we delete this to have more time uh, space so number plus times then we have what the again either we have the singular or plural or non count so for example number we can say three three then we have times and we have of as optional means we can delete and or keep three times for example her say length three times her length so here we have length or we can say for example four times say for example per uh, week see week is what is the singular four times per week peer per or of and also we have to say for example say five five times Say, for example, four times the, for example, the cement or the sand. As what? Four times the cement. I mean, the quantity of the cement, which is what? Which is non count. So, this is the first group, consists of double and the twice, and already we used thrice. The second group consists of number plus times. Then we have either singular or plural, can be followed by of or what or pair so, and this one is optional means we can delete this is the multipliers the second type the third type of multipliers is what we call fractions the third type we call type we call it fraction what is meant by fractions fractions means again in, in mathematics uh, they call it el kisur kisur fractions so this again what do we have uh, after fractions fractions like for example we say three quarters say three quarters if we have something like this for example so this can be divided into group so three qu quarters this is the quarters each one quarter this is these are the three quarters these are the 
three quarters. Talathat arba, for example. So three quarters, again, of, what do we have here? The same thing, it is possible. Means, it is possible to have singular, to have plural, and to have what? None count noun. Not count noun. Count nouns. We say th say three quarters of the, for example, the year. So here is what singular, and we can make it three. Uh, the same thing. Say three quarters of that, for example, years of those of those years. Then we have what we have here as a singular years as a plural and again we can say three quarters of the say for example the milk the milk which is what which is nine count so it is possible to follow the functions after the functions say three quarters say two fifths uh, nine sevenths like this so uh, here we have what we call the uh, fractions then the, this is the what we have the predeterminer. Uh, the, then we have after the predeterminer, we come to what we call the post determiner. Post determiner. 